Hello guys, I'm Isaac Sessi. I'm the Vice President Project of the Creativity Group. Um, we are a group who are um, very much interested in applying what we know um, and what we learn in the classroom practically and we, we aim to solve problems in society. We are not happy with the theoretical teaching that we are given in our schools and then we, we, we want to make our learning more fun so we apply what we learn but above all we are um, a problem solving oriented group and then as I said I happen to be the vice president we by the grace of God um, sought for help from MIT and then they sponsored us to um, participate or um, partake in a lot of projects and I happen to be doing the portable charger which I'm going to be demonstrating very soon the problem is we live in a technological world where we have smartphones. Everybody's phone is now smart. And um, gone were the days when you, you had just a monochrome display phone and you could run on a single charge for a very long time. But right now we have devices which use up a lot of battery power. And so um, you also have the youth of today and a lot of people who are always on the move and have no means of charging their phones when the battery ran out. And so I took it upon myself to just make this very simple device of um, a portable battery charger that you can carry everywhere. And um, it it's works very simply. Um, I'm going to be demonstrating it, but then before I demonstrate it, I'm going to talk about how it works. It um, basically uses a 9 volt battery, a regular 9 volt battery you have, and then you charge your phone from a 9 volt battery. We know that our phones use 3.7 volts and to be able to charge our phones we need at least 5 volts so we are able to pro produce this 5 volts um, output from this 9 volt supply and then with a few with um, an integrated circuit and just 4 other components we can make a very simple charger that we can carry everywhere we don't need to worry about the lack of electricity to charge our phones and um, it's a really simple thing that everybody can do I don't really consider it as a project it's just a simple device that anybody can do and we live in this part of the world that is Africa Ghana to be specific where we are very dependent on other people um, even for our um, needs even importing very basic electronic stuff so this thing is just to show that even as Ghanaians we can actually do this very simple thing solve our problems with the basic knowledge that we acquire in the classroom so I am going to be demonstrating my device and then we are going to see how it works. Okay, so this is the device and I'm going to demonstrate that it works. I made the casing out of acrylic and um, it could have been way smaller but um, for the purpose of this I decided to make it of standard form so you could see. And so I'm going to demonstrate. It has all you can see is just the USB ports and then I'm going to plug in my USB cable and then plug the other end in my phone and then it should charge, it should start charging okay so I have a smartphone here I plug it in Okay, so the charging light has turned on. In the case that it's charging, if you bring the camera closer, you would actually see the charging sign at the corner of the phone. And this light indicates that the phone is charging. So actually, you can, you could, you can see that the device works. It shows charging. The charging indicator also shows that the phone is charging. And as you can see, no electricity. You don't need electricity to power your phone. You just have this small unit over here. It could fit in your pocket, could fit in your bag. Your normal USB cable with a micro USB port. You could configure it for any phone that you are using. You don't necessarily need to use a micro USB port. You can just get the charger your phone uses, plug it in, and then you are good to go. So I'm going to just show you the internal circuitry and talk about it briefly. Um, if I take okay, so as you can see, it consists of a regular 9 volt battery 
and then you have a small circuitry you have an integrated circuit over here it's actually a back converter and it's um, it's a DC to DC converter it converts the 9 volts that you input into 5 volts which your phone needs in order to work and then you have 4 other external components like an inductor 2 capacitors, 1 Zener diode and then um, your USB port so it's a very simple circuit that everybody can make and then this is just to encourage everybody especially uh, my fellow Ghanaians, fellow Ghanaians to be interested in these things. We should learn to solve problems for, our, uh, for ourselves and then we don't need to depend on others to solve our problems for us. So as you can see our phone is still charging and then if you have a very good battery it, um, should, it should last for quite a long time and the, the, I chose this particular circuit, the back converter circuit because it is very efficient as compared to the normal linear regulators you have which are very inefficient this back converter IC is very efficient you could get as much as 90 to 95 percent efficiency out of it and the only disadvantage is that it may be quite expensive and um, we may consider um, doing more research into it and trying to see if we can commercialize it and um, you don't necessarily have to buy a charger or um, a charger from the market. You could just make one yourself, and it's as simple as that. You have you can find the components in any electrical shop, electronic shop near you, and then you are good to go. You have your charger always in handy. You can decide to use your phone for as long as you like, and then you still have a way of charging your phone. So um, this is what. I have to show and I hope you would as you watch this video you would be inspired even to try solve problems on your own and not always depend on other people for help so this is our portable 5 volt phone charger and this is our phone our USB cable very simple and this is creativity group as I said earlier we are, we, we are problem solving oriented we look for problems in the society and we solve them and then we um i think we have a lot of fun we work together but then we still have problem solving at the back of our minds and we enjoy we find a way of enjoying what we learn in class so you guys out there who think that um studies is all theoretical and there is no practicality in it try make your own practicals and you are going to enjoy it so i am isaac sessi thank you um we actually this casing we see here was designed in the Ghana Fab Lab, Ghana Fab Lab at the Takradi Technical Institute, and it is a facility which has been, which was built by the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, and then there are just three in Africa, one in South Africa, one in Kenya, and the last one is in Ghana, and we've been blessed to be a part of it, and then we have all um, the machines and the equipment we need. To be able to do anything you want, make your own uh, printed circuit board, design your own casing, and the place is so wonderful. The place is so fantastic, and so um, it's open to all. It's a uh, it's it's open to all, but it's unfortunate that people don't patronize it. So um, this is this is to create awareness that a fab lab exists in Ghana, which is really good news. A fab lab really exists in Ghana. And we thank the people at the Fab Lab. We thank the um, people who supported us, MIT. Um, we are very grateful. And then we hope to strengthen the relationship between we and then them. And then we thank them. We thank them very much for sponsoring us. It's very difficult to gain people's trust, especially when it comes to money. But they have demonstrated a very special um, trust in us and then we are grateful for their trust and then we hope not to disappoint them and we hope to make them know that we, we want to make them know that their investments are being used for a good purpose and for a worthy cause and thank you all for having me um Isaac Sessi once again the vice president of creativity group thank you all see you bye